Are you ready? <gasps> How can we help you? I've got this really big problem. But it stopped me from having a boyfriend and it's just really affecting my self-esteem. I'm really embarrassed by it. What is the problem? It's my teeth. I've got a massive gap. It's so big, I can actually fit a pound coin in there. Show us. Oh, oh my god! Probably fit a bit more change in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it bother you? Because I, I think it's kind of cool. Like, I, I think it's endearing. Mm. If I had been teased for it, mm. then it'd be fine. But, you know, kids can be really cruel. When I got to high school, that's when people started being mean. Like, oh, look, you got, like, teeth mm. like a beaver. And it kind of sticks with you when it's in high school, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Are you single at the moment? Yeah, I've not really had a proper boyfriend. Yeah, I had a gap exactly as you Really? Yeah, like, it was you exactly can't tell. like this. You can't tell now, because I did see in my dentist and I did have some work done to my teeth. So it's kind of like we need to close the gap and then give you a kind of whole... Bit of a revamp. Yeah. So we've definitely got ourselves a task here, and I think the outcome needs to be getting your boyfriend ready. Yes, getting back out of there. Yeah. <laughs> we do have an amazing dentist, Dr Nina, and this will be right up the street and something that she could fix. Oh, fantastic. It'll be a, a complete lifesaver for me. Let's go. doing a procedure which is called composite bonding. I'm going to be applying some tooth colored resin in between your teeth. So this is exactly how your teeth will be looking like. They look awesome, I can't wait. Let's get it started then. I just closed the gap. Now we'll just polish the surfaces of your teeth and then you'll be done. Robin. <laughs> He came in dressed head to toe in charity shop clothes and a gap in your tooth that could house a pound coin. But we hooked you up with dentist Dr Nina and she has filled that gap. Are you ready? Ah! <gasps> oh my gosh, I look so different. <gasps> oh my days, that's amazing. I love this hat. I've got normal teeth. I've been in normal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Set of Dr. Nina has done an absolutely amazing job. I would never guess there was a gap between the two. No, it looks so natural, doesn't yeah. it? And I know how you feel because coming from someone who had the same, it's a totally different transformation and it just oh. totally changes your confidence. How do you feel about the rest of the look? It's amazing. I feel like Stevie Nicks beats Little Kim. <laughs> it's fabulous. It's like Hollywood, isn't it? Are you feeling more confident? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Would you say that's the teeth that's mainly done that, or the whole package? I mean, the teeth are amazing, but the outfit and the hair just make it. Good. <laughs> In a good way this time. And then our <laughs> job here is done. All eyes on me. <laughs> How can we help you? Well, a few weeks ago, I was in a nightclub. We were just, like, chatting, and next thing you know, like, some liquid hit my face, which I thought, like, someone just threw a drink, and my eyes started stinging, which I thought was a drink and some ice, which then it turned out it was acid. Oh, my God. My face started burning and my eyes started stinging. I've ended up with, like, a few scars on my face. Oh, my God. And I've also got, like, a big one on my head. Oh. That looks so sore. Very sore. Yeah, it's horrible. Wow. It's quite deep as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it felt like a knife was, like, carving down on my head. Oh, God. I was petrified. I was so scared, I just wanted my mum. That is frightening. What did A&E say? Well, they said, these are not going to go. These are going to be like that now, stay like that. But that on my head is going to scar my hair, I won't grow back. I bet when you close your eyes, you sort of go back to that moment every yeah, time as exactly, well. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. And when you look in the mirror, you see in these, and it just brings up back all horrible memories. Like, it's just some... It's just horrible. In your case, what's good is there are treatments that can help, one, heal the scar, but then, two, help the hair grow back at the same time. 
That sounds amazing. That's exactly what I need. Yeah. One part is something using called PRP. I don't know if you've heard of that at all. That's platelet-rich plasma. Okay. I'm going to take out some blood. I'm going to spin that in a centrifuge. That's something that separates the blood away from the plasma. Now, that plasma has a number of growth factors which your body uses anyway to help, but it's going to be in a super concentrated formula. And I don't think you really will have any scarring left after that. I just want to go back to my old self. So we need to get you back on that party scene. Definitely, that's what... OK, so to begin, I'm going to need your blood. I know. <gasps> Sounds scary. I'm all down for it. OK, right, let's get to it. Thank you. See ya. You're not squeamish, are you? No. All right. okay. So what I want you to do is just relax. Mm -hmm. Just gonna feel a little scratch, and blood's gonna come out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm gonna do with this mm -hmm. is put it into a centrifuge. There we go. In needles in. Just feel pressure now. Sadie, relax. You came to us after a tragic event. You were attacked with what looked to be chemicals or acids. It took away your confidence, and you didn't want to go out anymore. Doctor said it was going to be scarred for life and that the hair wouldn't grow back, but we didn't want to give up. Let's do this. Ready? Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God, I can cry. Oh, my God. Where have they gone? <gasps> I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Now, when you first came, that was like a hole. Yeah. Almost a hole in the head. And now you've just got new skin forming and forming. It's been remarkable how well it's done so far. You've still got a few sessions to go, but it's gonna keep getting better. Please tell me you'll get back on that dance floor. Yep, I will get back on that dance floor one day, definitely. Promise? Pinky.